Overton, California. Once a town replete with the aroma of fresh strawberries, now rank with the malodor of confusion. With Sir William, the town's beloved swan turned convicted murderer, now in the midst of an appeal, Hoovertonians are left on opposite sides of the pond. One man, Quebecois private detective Guy Gillis, however, remains utterly convinced of Sir William's innocence and is on the case. Has he been fishing for evidence? Or is he about to reel in? The true murderer. I discovered a small sample of gold residue on Sal's work shirt. Perhaps the instrument of murder was not a guitar string, but a gold-plated chain. Come on, B. You know I don't rock gold. 100% platinum. Mm. After Sal died, I found five dead fish floating in the pond in one single day. I, uh, I tested the waters, and I found a large amount of the banned pesticide, Palathion. Did you tell it? Well, I, um... I... I told Mayor Hickey. I, I told Mayor Hickey. What is your relationship with Palathian? Guy? Guy. You can tell me. Everyone tells Rick Delta. It's all on my testimony. I don't know how the Palathian made its way into the pond, but I can definitively tell you that it is not a pesticide sanctioned by the town. I'm 50 yards away, right? Go on. And I hear splashing, so I'm scared, naturally. So I look over, I turn my head, my, my glasses fly off and they break. Can we stop for a minute? We? Oui. Oh, thank you. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Is this gold plated? All I saw was a white blur. No, no, it's gold. Pure gold. So, Sal has a Sikh swan that isn't getting any better from the brown rice diet. So he tests the pond water and discovers Palathion, a banned but cheap pesticide that can be used to exterminate Mediterranean fruit flies. And what is Bouvertin's top commodity that fruit flies threaten? Bonjour, strawberries. So Sal suspects that Delors Guy is secretly authorizing the use of this banned pesticide, and he confronts her. In a fit of rage, she strangles him with her gold necklace and pushes him in the pond. Ted Bell D. Smith did witness the crime. He just misidentified the culprits. What are we gonna find? I've got things planned and there goes my weekend. I'll tell you what, reopening a case is like milking a teat with a cheese grater. But private investigator Gillis brought us his findings and they were pretty eye-opening. The judge issued a search warrant to seize Mayor Hickey's necklace. All right, we're good here. It's Delta time. <clears throat> so, what do you have to say to the people of Booverton? Booverton has been through so much. My only concern is for my constituents. So why'd you do it? It was my fiduciary responsibility. You mean to tell me that it was your... responsibility to choke Salvatello to death, dump him in the pond, and then frame Sir William? Sometimes you have to crack a few eggs to make a strawberry pie.
Loris Hickey's life sentence finally provided some finality for Boobertonians. And now the healing begins with new mayor, Mimi Vitello. Congratulations, Ms. Mayor Vitello. Thanks, BJ. Enforcer William, he's been rebuilding his life one webby step at a time as he tries to rediscover his poetry and bring beauty back to Booverton. Sir William. You're a man of many titles. Booverton poet laureate, convicted murderer, wrongly convicted murderer, free man. How does it feel to be free, man? Case. I'm Rick Delta. Case closed.